Hi students, I'm Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing some examples relating the UML collaboration diagram. We are discussing the online shopping system as well as telephone conversation example for a collaboration diagram. So my dear students, in the last lecture, we had discussed what is a collaboration diagram. So as we mentioned, a collaboration diagram is an interaction type of diagram. And a collaboration diagram is also known as a communication diagram which is used to illustrate the relationship and interactions among the different software objects as well as actors. These diagrams can be used to portray the dynamic behavior of a particular use case and define the role of each object. So my dear students, the different notations associated with a collaboration diagrams include object, actors, link and messages. The objects are shown as rectangles with naming labels inside. The actors are instances that invoke the interaction among in the diagram. The link connect the object with actors and the depicted using a solid line between two elements and message between objects are shown as labeled arrow placed near a link. So the different notations include object that is represented with a rectangle with an object name. Second one is the actors represented by an actor symbol, link represented by a line and message which is represented with a label above an arrowed line. So my dear students, next we are discussing our first example relating the collaboration diagram. We are discussing the collaboration diagram for online shopping system. So my dear students, as we mentioned, an online shopping system contain may or may contain an actor named customer so every online system must contain a customer or a user here we are dealing with a customer and we are representing this customer as an actor thus we had represented the customer with an actor symbol so now the second one is the object our object is an online portal that is a web portal is our object Thus, the object online portal is represented using a rectangle symbol. So now there arise the communication or the link between the customer and portal. So we are connecting it with a line. So the relation or the message or the communication link between these customer and the object is login. The first association or the first message between the customer and an object or the actor customer and the object online portal message is a login message and this message is labeled or numbered as one next we are dealing with the second object the object named inventory this inventory is also linked with the online portal and there is also a message communication between the online portal and the inventory so when a customer login into a system, those login credentials are searched against the inventory or the database system. So there comes the third object. Third object is known as online shopping cart. This online shopping cart is linked to the online web portal and the message communication between the web portal and the shopping cart is add item. So when a customer login into the online portal and he is selecting some items, those items are added into the online shopping cart. So that is the third communication or the third message in this system. So when a shopping cart is having some items, we are moving to the place order object and the place order object is related or linked with the shopping cart and the relation or the message passing is shopping cart gives the item detail to the place order. So item detail is the message passing between the shopping cart and the place order. This is the fourth message in this system. And shipping details are also included into the process order object. That is the shopping cart has the shipping detail item which is previously entered by the customer. Those items or the, those shipping details are encoded in the online portal customer profile and these details are added to the process order scenario. So this process order is again communicating or linked with the online portal. The online portal gives message for the confirmation regarding this order and while confirmation of this order occurs, 
the order summary object arises and the link between the order summary and the process order is this that the payment detail message will proceed into the order summary or the final process while the payments are entered the order summary is connected or linked with the online portal that is the online portal now has the detailed order display which we get from the order summary object so my dear students this is how we are representing the collaboration diagram for online shopping system so this collaboration diagram shows the interactions between the actor object and the communication and the message passing and linking between these object and actors so previously the sequence diagram shows the different sequence of activities but in this case of collaboration diagram the serial order or the sequential order between these actors and object are portrayed in this collaboration diagram so my dear students hope you had understood that how we can draw a collaboration diagram for an online shopping now we are going to our second example we are mentioning the collaboration diagram for a telephone conversation so while considering a collaboration diagram for a telephonic conversation firstly for every communication there arise a person known as caller caller is an object so this caller is communicating or messaging or linking with the second object named exchange so there is a link between this caller and exchange the message between this caller and the exchange is off hook that is the caller dials some contact number so the dial tone will be communicated between the caller and the exchange object so the dial tone is given by the exchange to the caller when a phone is off hooked then the exchange will return a dial tone to the caller so the first message or the first step in this communication is off hook and the second portion or the second message or the second step in this communication is dial tone communication or message so there arise the third message or the third communication that is the caller is dialing a particular number so our third message or the third process is dialing the number while dialing a number the exchange object will communicate with the receiver object so there is a link between this exchange and receiver and there is also a communication between this exchange and receiver the communication between exchange and receiver is ring tone or this exchange arouse a ring tone towards the receiver end when the receiver is hearing this ring tone the receiver will move to the fourth object called as talk so there is a communication or there is a link between the receiver and the talk the relation between receiver and talk is on hook that is the caller is dialing a particular number this dialed number is forwarded towards the exchange the exchange is forwarding this number to the receiver side and the receiver phone is now ringing with a particular ringtone those ringing will proceed to the next step called as communication establishment or talking so now the caller and receiver is talking that is the talk message will be between the receiver to the exchange and exchange to the caller so this is how we are establishing or we are drawing a collaboration diagram for a telephonic conversation so my dear students while drawing a collaboration diagram there is a critical point that each and every communications or messages should have a number for representation this number will represents the sequence in which how the operations are performed in a system so my dear students hope you had understood this topic so dear students in this lecture we had discussed what is a collaboration diagram a collaboration diagram is also known as a communication diagram which is an illustration of the relationship and interaction among the software objects so this collaboration di diagram is a type of interaction diagram and these diagrams can be used to portray the dynamic behavior of a particular use case 
and define the role of each object so many students hope you had understood this topic so many students the different notations in this collaboration diagrams include objects actors links and messages so my dear students kindly go through this assignment question our question is draw the uml collaboration diagram for an atm transaction so many students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss another uml set of diagrams so dear students see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best